Awesome. Incoming storm right at the start of the video. Just what I want to hear. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and a like on the video and share us on social media. It is always greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. <coughs> so we're back at the scene of the crime. This is where we found our lovely squid. And there's nothing better... Oh, God, I can't even look at it. Nothing better than kitting out a new ship once you get it. You know, especially later on in the game when you have plenty of uh, resources to just go ahead. You've already unlocked everything. You can go ahead and put in the hyperdrive all the way up to the, you know, the indium and all that. You can put in your infra knife mo module and your pulse drive and all the bells and whistles and... We've done some of that so far. We've got all the hyperdrives in. We've got the two basic pieces for the infra knife, some basic pulse engine stuff. Of course, the photon cannon, which I wish you could get rid of, but you can't. And we also, yeah, we're going to talk about that. Uh, we also put in all the conflict scanners and the launch thruster and the system recharger. I don't do the one that the efficient one anymore because it just doesn't feel like it's needed, especially when you have the automatic recharging unless you're doing a lot of jumping on a planet um, it's really not worthwhile it just takes up a spot that you could use for something else instead I just keep a bunch of uranium on me and you know we're fully loaded with pyrite and uranium for the pulse drive and the launch drive just in case and then plenty of warp hyper cores to get us through so yeah y'all want to talk about this don't you all right so the whole point of this video is to maximize your modules that you get and install on your ship and how do you do that well it's pretty simple and it just requires a little bit of duping and the duping is insanely simple so all you need is one thing that you want to do like this infra knife module and then some portable refiners and you can have as many as you want um you know within reason of course i don't know how many <laughs> the limit is but remember as you're picking these things up it's going into your inventory as well as a new module. So you take one module, you put it down, or one refiner, you put it down, you slap the module, or whatever you want to dupe in there. You slap it in there, and you start stacking them on top. And what you want to do is, you see that part dangling down in the middle there? Yeah, you guys have dirty minds. You want those to overlap. You don't want them to be, you know, 100% on, but just so you can see a little bit of the lighter green against the darker green. And we're going to go ahead and stack all seven of these up. And you saw I had one infra knife module in my inventory. I'll start picking them up by holding down the R3 button. As you can see already, now we have seven, right? Pretty, pretty badass. So you do that as much as you want until you get a lot of these things. And why do we need so many? Because, you know, we can only technically put three in here in the general tab and three in the technology tab, right? That's the hard limit. But after that, they start to break and all that. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to min-max our, uh, our ship here and use these to get the absolute best modules we can get. And that's the goal, okay? So we're going to find, out of all these, and I guess one more there, we're going to look to see if we can get six amazing ones out of here. So we'll get to it with the installation process. We're just going to go through and knock all these out real quick. I'm not going to look at them yet. I find if you start looking at them, you might settle and yeah, we don't want to. See how they're all broken now? They're all flashing red because they're overloaded. It's all good. We aren't going to worry about that right now. Now, X modules, you can do this with any type of module. I prefer the X modules. I just happen to have one. They can be acquired in pirate systems. Um, you can buy them there. And you only need to buy one. And you'll see, you know, we dupe the same one over and over again. But each one of these, when we turn them into a module, 
uh, gets its own unique set of stats on it. So I'm going to go through and try to find some really, really good ones with a lot of um, a lot of bonuses to it. All right. Let's go ahead and move that to the deep inventory, and we'll pop one more off since we have it. Drop it right there. Okay. Now we got a buttload. Let's start looking at them. So we have three, two, two. I think these go up to four stats on them. We're just going to kind of look through until we see one with four, maybe. If not, then we'll settle for three. But I'm pretty sure they can have up to four. A lot with three. Yeah, but none with four yet. Okay. Let's start taking a look at these with three on them. Let's put this back into the high capacity here. Here's one with three. Three. And yeah, this takes a little, little time and effort. And you're going to have to kind of play around and say, well, you know, what exactly do I want from these modules? How awesome do I want them to be? You may find yourself leaning more toward fire rate more toward heat dispersion. Um, it really depends. You know, you know, straight up damage. There's a lot of uh, little combos you can have here. Looks like damage, fire rate, and heat dispersion are the only three stats. It's been a while since I've installed these, so I really haven't paid attention. a few of them so we got a nice little nice little uh, bit of work to do here to figure out exactly how we're gonna set this up here and uh, how the ships gonna be in the end now what do I favor out of those three stats the most for me I kind of lean toward fire rate with damage as a secondary because heat dispersion the weapon itself will overheat but once you have six of these running, it's just insanely silly how quickly the uh, ship will not overheat anymore. You know, it's just, it's amazingly fast. So we're going to look at fire rate as our main um, main thing here. So we got a 14%. Another 14%. I kind of like that. Thirteen percent, that's solid. Another thirteen percent. Fifteen percent. Oops. Let me go this way. And yeah. Another fifteen percent. Another 14%. All right. So, we have up here ranging between 13 and 15%. So, kind of like the 15% with a 6% damage, 12% heat dispersion. How'd that get up there? That's garbage. Is this another good one? Oh, that was it. Okay. So yeah, let's take a look now. So we got one fifteen percenter and another. So these two are pretty solid, right? Six percent damage, fifteen percent fire rate. Same there. Twelve percent heat dispersion. I think that's actually a perfect um, roll for these. Let's look at our damage potential. I'm not sure if this affects that or not. Yet two sixty five. It sure does. All right. 275. So next up, we're going to look at the 14 percenters. 14, 6, and 13. Alright, heat dispersion is a little higher there. 
14, 13, and 6. All right, so... We've got those two. Go ahead and throw one here. And leave the other one up top here. And then out of these, we have... Oh, let's see. 13% fire rate, 13 heat, 6 damage, 6 damage, 13 and 4. 14 and 13. All right, so... Was it? Yeah, I think the rest are pretty garbagey. Now we're into the twos. All right, cool. So these are the three we're going to keep for this first part. So in here, we've got the two main, and let's rearrange these a little bit. What are we at? At 278 damage potential. Not really changing any, okay. All right, well, we will kind of leave it alone then. But as far as these go, then we're going to destroy everything that doesn't fall into those first three. And look, you get a lot of decent resources back for it with the cadmium wiring looms and silver. Different ones of these give you different things, so we're just going to. That's just a bonus little thing at the end there. You can sell it, you can keep it, whatever. That's up to you. But once we get to the end, we're going to watch that damage potential jump up a little bit. Especially when we move the last one out of the way. Because these three at the top will go into effect. And this ship will be pretty devastating at that point as far as its damage inflicted with the fire rate, and then well, we get three sixes, six sixes, 36 percent more damage, plus the immense fire rate increase, yeah, it's going to be gross. And yeah, we're getting tons of wire looms, a lot of cadmium, decent amount of silver. It is all good. We just want this ship to shine, right? Damage potential 278. And it stays at 278. Okay, whatever. That's funny. But we all know it is dealing another 1, 6, a 6, 2, 6, a 12, 3, 6, another 18% damage just off those three alone. So let's take her up into the atmosphere and go pick a fight. In fact, we don't even really need to pick a fight, but we will. We'll hit to the outlaw station. There's always a pirate to be fought, and probably one will try to mess with us on the way there. They usually do. They'll scan us and want to steal our stuff. Because they're jerks that way, but hey, it's cool. I was kind of hoping for another squid to drop by while I was there, just for the fun of it. But alas, no. Alright, so we got a done deal there. We'll run over, pick up a mission real quick test out those weapons but that's a really easy way to really maximize the potential of your ship all you need is one module and you can dupe it now if you're not into duping that's fine um, I'll show you something else you can do that will do it on a more uh, legitimate path but first let's find a well I'll have to rate a capital ship screw it why not that'll be just as fun But this aftermarket upgrade guy right here, he's the one you can buy from. Hyperdrive, Movement Blaze, and this works for anything and everything, whether it's for your gun, your ship, your exosuit, your exocraft. <coughs> works for all of them. So 
feel free to do this with any of them. If you don't want to do the duping, you can buy one here or two, depending on how many they have. Sometimes they have more than one. And then you can just jump in your ship, jump out, you know, to inst in inst uh, set up a save real quick, one of those auto saves, and then reload the game, and he'll have a fresh batch of uh, stuff for you to get, so you can buy a bunch of them that way. That's the more legitimate way. You know, you can grind all you want and go from system to system and all that, but I've played so much of this game that uh, at this point, you know, especially for making video purposes, it's a lot more fun just to knock it all out and go. Alright, where is our... Our ship that we gotta attack. Ah, that's not him, is it? Take a quick look around. Well, we're gonna have some fun. Look at that gun shoot. As you can see, we're, we're going to let it overload. Let's let it overload. And this is why I don't focus on the over the um, heat dispersion. Because here we go, here we go, overload, overload. One, yeah, like a second. And it's done. So that's craziness right there. Absolutely do not need to worry about overloading these guns. Focus on fire rate and damage. Again, my preference is fire rate because, I mean, look at that, it's so fast, it's not even funny. You can decimate an asteroid field in no time, just flying through it and shredding to death. So that's how you really uh, maximize your ship, and uh, you know, on a budget. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please leave a like down below and leave a comment on it. Are you someone that dupes in a game like this? You know, I mean, it is, uh, yeah, it's a frowned upon activity in some circles, but in others, you know, who cares, right? It's your game. You play it the way you want. You don't want to do it? I don't blame you. I didn't like to do it back in the beginning, but now that I'm making these videos, it's kind of fun because we can really explore every single aspect of this game to the max and have a good time while doing it. So thanks for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and ring that bell for notifications. I do these videos daily. And I got a new series coming out in the beginning of October, a uh, little uh, God of War series from the 2018 God of War. It will be a walkthrough without commentary. It's just kind of a beautiful story. And I ripped through it again recently, and I was like, you know what? That would make a fun story. So, you know, just a, almost like an episodic TV series. But it'll lead us up to the release of God of War Ragnarok in November, which I am looking forward to immensely. Unfortunately, the day before, Skull and Bones is releasing, and that's another one I'm looking forward to. So, yeah, conundrum time. First world problems. See you next time.